Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. My name is Dave Whitaker, and today I wanted to briefly talk about isolation coats for acrylic paintings. So typically when an artist wraps up a new painting, one of those last steps is to varnish it. However, before doing that, it could be a great idea to apply what's called an isolation coat. So what is an isolation coat? It is a clear, non-removable coating that serves to, to physically separate the paint surface from the varnish. This helps protect the painting if or when that varnish is ever removed. And this is because the chemicals used to remove varnish can be harmful or damage the acrylic paint. It can also be used to seal any absorbent areas in order to create a nice even surface to apply the varnish afterwards. And one other thing to note, an isolation coat is only for acrylic paintings. Remember that it's not to be used on oils or watercolors, just acrylics. So today I'm gonna to be using this Golden Brand Isolation Coat Medium. As you can see right on the label, it's, it's a clear glossy barrier applied on top of acrylics before varnishing. And I'll also be using this soft flat synthetic brush. Make sure you have enough on hand before you get started. I like to pour a generous amount into a bowl or container like this. And also make sure that the painting is completely dry before you get started. So let's talk about how to apply the isolation coat. First, load the brush about a fourth or a little less than halfway up the bristles on each side. Then you can start applying the isolation coat right onto the canvas. I like to get close to the edge, but not all the way because I find it tends to build up and bubble on the edges. So then I'll just use the brush to pull off any excess material. Now just work your way across the canvas, making sure the entire painting has a nice, even wet coat. And don't forget the edges. Another thing to note here, don't overwork the application. Continuing to work the same area, especially if it starts to dry, increases the chances of brush strokes and bubbles being left behind on the painting. Okay, if you notice some areas that did leave any bubbling behind, avoid that temptation of going back over it right away. Just let it dry and you can always apply another layer of the isolation coat, no problem. Once it's complete, I'd say let it dry at least 24 hours before varnishing and some people even suggest waiting at least two or three days. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful for some out there. Any questions, leave me a comment and be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, have a great day.